Hey naturals, welcome to the channel. Dima is my name and on this channel I share lots of natural hair growth DIY contents to improve your hair growth, thickness and health. On this channel, we believe that everything that grows out from the soil is a potential hair care product. They are 100% natural, free from harsh chemicals and great to use on natural hair. You can never go wrong with natural products. Please, before you continue watching, kindly subscribe by tapping on the red button on your interface. Also tap on the bell icon to always notify you on our future uploads. And please share this video with your family and friends if you enjoyed watching it. Lastly, please ensure you watch this video to the end as all instructions will be stated towards the end of the video in today's video i'm basically going to be sharing with you a super moisturizing hair care product that you can use to keep your hair moisturized for long this hair product that we are about to share on today's video is basically going to thicken your hair darken your hair and all that good stuff please keep watching as always grab your cooking pot sizable pot like so just make sure your pot is clean place on your stove light your stove pour about 500 ml worth of distilled water in it bring this to a boil you have to boil for about 100 degrees celsius then my very first ingredient for today's recipe is cloves i made use of cloves but this time around please if you have cloves powder go ahead and use it they are all the same thing Cloves contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. They can be used for protecting the scalp from dandruff, which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair. Cloves also contains anti-inflammatory agents, which further help in hair thickening. For the proportion, I measured out one tablespoon of the cloves buds into the pot. For my next ingredient, I've got flax seeds. Please go ahead and use flax seed powder if that's what you've got because I'm using the flax seeds itself in this video. Flax seeds are rich in vitamin E, which is great for both skin and hair health. The nutrients promote the health of the scalp by reducing free radical damage. It helps improve circulation in the head, thus promoting hair growth and slowing down hair breakage. For the proportion, I made use of one tablespoon of the flax seeds. Please, if you're using flax seeds powder, go ahead and use same proportion. For my next ingredient, I've got hibiscus flowers. We are going to be making use of dried hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus helps with hair loss. It makes your hair look healthy and lustrous, prevents premature growing, thickening hair, and adds volume. It treats dandruff. For the proportion, I made use of one teaspoon of the hibiscus flowers. I went ahead and poured all the ingredients in the boiling water in the pot. So I allowed this to boil for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, bring down the pot and allow to cool down completely. And as well, allow to infuse for 8 hours. I went ahead and stirred from time to time while this was boiling. Please, when making yours, ensure you stand by it and stay continuously until it's 15 minutes mark because if you shift, this will definitely burn and you will not like that. So, ensure you stand by it. Once it's 15 minutes mark, turn off the heat, bring down the pot, and allow to cool down completely while leaving to infuse further for 8 hours. And after 8 hours, Go ahead and sieve this to get your moisturizer. After many hours, it's time for the sieving and I used my cheesecloth, a strainer and a bowl to collect my moisturizer. The reason for the cheesecloth is to trap all the particles 
that would have been stuck in my hair and also to help squeeze out the flaxseed well so we can get all the benefits next i transferred into my spray bottle and our super moisturizing hairspray is ready this spray can double up for your water and also for your leave-in conditioner just apply and go ahead and seal in all that goodness with your hair butter cream or your hair growth oil depending on your hair texture or your hair porosity next i'll go ahead and demonstrate for you all how this should be used you can use this to moisturize your hair two to three times weekly for that thick voluminous hair you need make sure to apply this two to three times weekly while massaging your scalp daily this can help you improve your hair thinning and grow your hair healthy and beautiful just in case you're just joining us on this channel i love to work in sections whatever that i'm doing to my hair i love to work in sections hence the reason why you see me working in sections please do not always yank your hair together make sure to always work in sections because that helps in reducing breakage and shedding I'm basically using the mix to hydrate my hair after which I seal in all the moisture with my hair butter cream. I'm so sorry I didn't share that in this video because that doesn't concern this video. Go ahead and use it to moisturize your hair. This product is basically for moisture and also for hair thickening. This product will also help to darken your hair, not to turn your gray hair black, but to darken your hair that are not gray so that's basically what this product will do for you you can also use it as spray pool whereby you spray it first before coating your hair with oils this product is also an excellent detangler why buy a detangler when you can make this in the comfort of your home this is very effective it detangles hair in seconds like i always tell you to stop complaining about breakage and start moisturizing your hair because moisture is the secret to length retention and long hair moisturized hair is more elastic less prone to breakage and less prone to tangles this means that moisture helps to retain hair length as your hair grows keeping your hair moisturized will allow your hair to grow in length Again, if you're sure you're keeping up with moisture and your hair is still breaking or limp, go ahead and get a protein treatment done. That shows that your hair is lacking in protein. Our hair is made up of about 90% of protein called keratin. And as you comb your hair every day, you manipulate your hair week to week. That kind of depletes your hair of this protein and you need to get a protein treatment done ASAP. So if you're keeping up with moisture and your hair is still breaking, that means that your hair needs protein get protein treatment done and your hair will stop breaking and shedding i know a lot of you come to my comments to complain that your hair still sheds even while keeping up with moisture that's because you don't keep up with protein treatment i told you that for your hair to thrive you need a balance of moisture and protein in your hair this is the truth do not let anyone tell you otherwise you have to keep up with moisture and protein balance in your hair you can get a hair journal or any of your jotters in your house document everything you do to your hair week to week keep track of whatever you do to your hair the products you're using make sure that you don't use products that your hair doesn't like if you find out that your hair don't like a product please discontinue use and get a product that works with your hair Please do not allow every stylist you see to make your hair. Allow stylists that are professionals in what they do to handle your hair. Not every stylist you see that you should allow access to your hair. Try to do some things yourself. Try to work in sections. That way your hair will shed less.
be intentional when it comes to your hair don't just give anybody access to your hair that brings me to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching if you watched up to this point kindly say hi for me in the comment section below just comment hi in the comment section below and i will understand Please support by giving this video a thumbs up and i'll see you shortly bye